This video is sponsored by Audible. Hey guys, it's Chili. I have a love-hate relationship with the gym. I hate everything involving it, but I do love when I'm actually done with a workout. There are a couple of main reasons why I hate going to the gym. The main current one is that there's literally a pandemic going on. Another being my fragile foot, which I've already discussed. Then there's the Facebook incident. Back in my senior year of college, I was living in an apartment that had a full gym and was included in the rent. My final years of college were very stressful and it showed in my weight gain. But there was literally no motivation to do anything about it because of all the different crises I was going through at the time. But then, something magical happened. Something that sparked inside of me. December 31st, New Year's Eve, New Year's resolutions. I was suddenly hit with a burst of motivation. Year 2016 was going to be my year and no one or nothing was going to stop that. I started planning, okay? I started planning my workout routine. I looked up workout calendars, meal plans, fitness tips, all of that. I literally spent a whole day just planning out what my fitness and weight loss program was gonna look like. I even bought myself new workout clothes. I think that was probably the most productive I was that entire semester. Sorry, professors. Obviously, I couldn't work out without my new workout clothes, so I waited until they actually arrived. But don't worry, that spark did not dwindle. I was ready. The day they arrived, I wasted no time. Okay, that's a lie. I decided to go early the next morning so I could get my workout in before classes. I grabbed my towel, water bottle, headphones, and made my way down to the gym. Surprisingly, there were only two other people there doing their thing, but I paid no mind to them and I went to go do my own thing. My plan was to split half my time on the treadmill and then do some stuff in the weight room. I blasted some EXO into my ears and started my run. Hi, can I help you? Hey, what's up? I, I uh, n not much. Just doing my workout. Yeah, I see that. So, do you usually come around the gym this time? <sighs> okay, let me explain something. Let's ignore the fact that this guy rudely interrupted my workout when I clearly have headphones in and I'm jamming to some BTS. Clearly, he had nothing important to say and was just trying to strike up a conversation. I'm about to expose myself here, but I sweat pretty easily. Thank you, dad and genetics. I had been on the treadmill running for about 15 minutes now, so not only was I panting like a dog from being tired already, I looked like a wet, gross towel. I don't know why that's the first description that came to mind, but the point I'm trying to make is I did not look like someone who should be having a casual conversation with any human being, nor was I in the mood to. I'm trying to burn off the McDonald's I ate last night, man. I, uh, no. Well, I guess, yeah, this is my first time coming down here, but I was planning on coming in around this time. Oh, that's cool. Yep, I'm just gonna get back to, oh yeah, for sure. This dude walks away from me. Thankfully, he wasn't too blunt about whatever he was doing and skipped the treadmill directly next to mine and went over to the next one. And I thought, okay, that's the end of that. I'm a trainer, by the way. So if you ever need advice or something, I can always help you out. Been doing it for two years now. Oh, cool. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. I put my headphones back in and go back to my run thinking that was the end of it. Who? Who? Oh my god, you are not about to interrupt the Scott 7 song, please! Uh, yes? So, do you have Facebook or anything? Or do you have a boyfriend? <coughs> the person I aspire to be would have just noped out of there right away without even bothering to answer his question. Because, again, I am in the middle of a workout, and I do not want to be hit on like this while I am sweating like a pig. 
I don't look good. I know I don't look good. So what are you doing? There's a time and place for these things. And not only is it like 6 a.m., this is not the place. But instead, I politely said no, ran for another five minutes, and then left the gym, and I never went back again. Please do not be this type of person. If people are in a gym, they are there to work out. I don't know about you, but trying to strike up a conversation of someone who is sweating and dying from their workout is not attractive. And this kind of thing should be illegal. Okay, that's a little dramatic, but come on, man. You interrupted my epic playlist like three times. That's not cool. Okay, but for real. While that was a funny memory to recall and a fun story to tell you guys, obviously that's not really the main reason I stopped going to the gym. Because as I mentioned, I really do love the feeling of finishing a workout and I just feel better about myself. My body just feels good when I'm taking care of it, you know? But besides the pandemic, do you want to know why I avoid going to the gym or working out? I do not like to wash my hair every single day. I have very thick and frizzy hair, okay? And I have a lot of it. This is a gross before picture I took earlier in the year at the salon, so it looks worse than it actually is, but it's okay. Dramatic effect and all. But look at it! But also, let's appreciate the after picture. Anyways, with thick hair like this, you don't want to be washing it every day because it's not good for your hair, but also, it's a freaking chore! My arms get their own workout from trying to wash my hair, so I don't wash my hair much, like two to three times a week. But if I know I'm not going out at all, I'll even wash it once a week. Call it gross. I don't care. I shower every day, but I refuse to wash my hair if it doesn't need it. But when you combine thick hair like this and me who easily sweats a lot from a workout, you get a gross combination. I can get away with dry shampoo maybe one day, but other than that, that hair has to be washed after every workout. But that's so much work and dedication, and I'm the type of person who doesn't want to deal with that, so I just don't. Just like I didn't want to deal with that dude at the gym. And that, my friends, is why I hate the gym. I may not like going to the gym, but do you know what I do love to do? Read. But with my very busy schedule, I don't have time to read a physical book. So I'll usually have an audiobook playing in the background as I work. And I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. I'm actually really excited about this one because of how much I love books. My favorite genre? Young adult. And I'm not even ashamed about it. They just hit different, okay? Some of my recommendations? The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Caravelle by Stephanie Garber, and The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Okay, this one technically isn't young adult, but still, so good. If you join Audible today, you'll get access to the all-new Plus catalog with Other Than Audiobooks has podcasts, guided fitness, and meditation programs, which might be beneficial with all of us being in lockdown and stuff. Every month, you get one credit to use for any title, and you get to keep it forever. And if you don't like the book, you can exchange it, no questions asked which is beneficial for an indecisive person like me who could never decide on what to listen to next. You can start your 30-day free trial today and get your free book by going to audible.com slash chilipanda or text chilipanda to 500-500. If you choose any of my recommendations that I mentioned, please let me know how you like it. Always looking for fellow book lovers to discuss books. And thank you, Audible, once again for sponsoring this video.